Okay, here we go. I just got what I believe is one of the single greatest messages from the Lord Jesus that I've ever received in my entire life. You see, I love space. You know, the planets, stars, galaxies. Space is really, really important to me. And I've been seeking out from the Lord for a long time now about what's going on out in space. We're talking about 12 or 13 years of trying to study, trying to pray, asking, begging of the Lord. Okay. I'm going to give you the messages Jesus gave me. Some of you won't believe me. Man, I understand. Some of you, maybe you won't be sure. Seek out Jesus and ask him yourself with what you're about to hear. Some of you will trust me. That's a mistake. You shouldn't trust anybody. You should only trust God and his Christ and nobody else. Let me give you the messages now because these are shocking. Let me kind of close my eyes a little bit. I was in my home the other day and Jesus spoke clearly to me and we went back and forth and back and forth. You see, everybody, when I learned that there were people living on the moon, that was shocking to me. And if this is the first time that you've ever heard this, you're probably in shock right now. And I learned that a long time ago. And I, honestly, let me tell you the truth. I was in shock about that for five or six or seven years. Then I learned that there were people living on Mars. And that blew my mind. That just blew my mind. And that lasted a couple years also. So five, six years had gone by. Then I started slowly learning over a period of time that there were human beings living on some of the other planets and moons. And that was shocking. So now we're past the shock of the moon and past the surprise of learning that they're on Mars. Now I'm learning that they're on other planets and other moons in our solar system. That was incredible. A couple years go by. I'm praying. I'm studying. I'm praying. I'm studying. Then I learned that our spaceships are fast enough to leave our solar system and to go out into the galaxy. And that blew my mind again. And if you're hearing all this for the first time, I want to ask you, please, go to my YouTube channel, use the search window, or click the playlist. We have a ton of videos on spaceships, technology, the Nazis, the gray beings, planet colonization, and on and on. So I'm learning that our spaceships are fast enough to leave the solar system. That really surprised me. Let me continue because it goes so much farther. Then I'm learning that they are visiting other galaxies and colonizing them. And that was incredible. We're flying out of our solar system, out of the Milky Way galaxy, to other galaxies and colonizing them. And I'm using my imagination and I'm thinking about it and praying about it and seeking out about it and trying to learn more. Now, let's get to the three or four messages that Jesus gave me just about one week ago. Jesus clearly told me 
that there are human beings living all over the universe in all of the galaxies. There are human beings living all over the place. Now, that's a little hard to believe, isn't it? I mean, we all thought Adam and Eve conceived a baby a few thousand years ago, and there was a, you know, a few thousand people on earth, and the flood came and killed them all. Then Noah did this, and, and then King David did that, and on and on, and there's a few million people. No. What I'm learning now is there are human beings all over the galaxy, all over the universe. The universe. I misspoke the first time. I said to Jesus, can I please ask you, are there multiple universes? He said, yes. There are multiple universes, not just one. And the impression that he gave me is there were thousands upon thousands of universes he has created. And I asked him, are there human beings living in all of the universes? And he said, yes, there's, there's humans living in all of them. Then I asked him, do you have Christian children? Do you have chosen ones in all of the universes? And he said, yes, kind of like I have my people living in all of the universes. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. There are chosen ones of God. You call them Christians. I call them chosen ones. There are Christians living in thousands upon thousands of universes, in all of the galaxies and all of them, and all of the solar systems and planets. There's human beings living in all of these. There could be trillions upon trillions upon hundreds of trillions of human beings living in all of the thousands of universes, if not so much more than that. And then this got really crazy. I said, Lord, I need to ask you something. Did you die on a cross in every single universe for your chosen ones? Did you actually die in every universe on a bloody cross? And this is where it gets very tricky. He said to me, no, Garrett, I only died one time on the cross in your universe. He's talking to me. And it covers all of them somehow. This is unbelievable. I wanted to make a video about this. I pray if you have ears to hear, please hear. Why are we worrying about our bills? This guy that we call Jesus held all of the matter of 10,000 universes in his right hand. He has children living in thousands upon thousands of universes. Why are we so worried about how we're going to pay the phone bill? I know I struggle with that. Why are we so worried about, will, will I ever be able to do this? I know I struggle with these things too. These messages that he gave me about space, they change parts of our theology, parts of our thinking. This is incredible. Go to the Lord, ask him about these things. And I pray, Jesus, right now on the microphone, please teach us more about space, about what's really going on. Please show us more. 
Teach us more. Help us to learn more. Reveal more to us. Speak more to us. Please send revelations, we pray. Please. This is incredible, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen.